Curtis, you've uh, you've had sort of a, a breakout year at corner. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of people were talking about Earl and Blake, obviously coming into the season. A lot of people talked about Shockey Brown. You've been sort of the uh, the breakout surprise on this team. What, what do you attribute that to? Hard work, dedication. Uh, Coach Kim. Yeah. Did you uh, did you did you ever have any doubts coming into this year? Did you expect to play such a big role in the defense this year? Yeah, just from. Um, from summer and how much I improved and everybody noticed it. I mean, I don't know, it just came out of nowhere really. I just came up and played. What do you think in a game like this where you, you guys played in the Big 12, you saw a lot of passing offenses this year, this is a, a run first defense. How's your role change when you play against a team like this? Um, since I've been starting the whole year, um, Shockey and AJ, they're pretty they're, they're pretty much bigger than I am. So I, I took the back roll and um, now I go in on, on the nickel package. Like we just reversed it where I was just starting on the regular. Now I started nickel because they run the ball most of the time. So it's, it's better to play. Put some running cornerbacks in, and I'm okay with that because it's what we need to do to win. So you'll be playing nickel in this game. Mm -hmm. You feel like uh, is this a, a lot like the Nebraska game? Is it yeah. a similar type of offense? Yeah, that's that, that's what we did in the Nebraska game. So these last two games ain't all running teams. So I just go in like you know on third down somewhere. It's probably gonna be a throw or something because I'm a cover corner. But. Does it change up? I mean, obviously Nebraska is what they were. They, they don't have quite the personnel that Alabama does. And when you see a guy like Julio Jones, who hasn't had a huge year, but is obviously a, a big-time wide receiver, yeah, you does, it. does it kind of keep you on your toes a little bit more than you were against a Nebraska team that really doesn't have any, any big-time receivers? I go out there and try to ball against whoever. I mean, they might not they might not have a name, but I'm going to go out there and play to my best ability and try to make a name for myself off them. But Julio Jones, overall, he looks like he's in the field wide receiver already in college. So it's going to be a tremendous uh, task for us to handle, but we, we just, we just got to do what we do best, play our defense. The one game this year that, that you guys struggled defensively was the A&M game. Mm -hmm. Would you say that A and M did something special, or was that just a game where you guys you guys made your own mistakes? I mean, we didn't we didn't. I mean, we had a lot of bust coverages, and it, it wasn't our game at all. That was that wasn't who we were. And the, the next game, you seen where we, we stepped up and took we we just took care of everything much better than the A and M game. What did you guys What did you guys take from that game? Take from because um, you obviously hadn't had much. You didn't see a lot of uh, adversity throughout the season, and then to have that game be as close as it was, and that was the first time that the offense kind of had to bail the defense out of a game. What, what did you guys say as a defense? What what, what coach Muschamp say to you guys as a defense after that game? That wasn't who we were. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm not saying it, it was a good. It was something that we learned from because I guess we kind of started getting nonchalant, you could say, but. That game woke us up, and we we started going back to practice, trying to tap even better, running to the ball more. And it was a we we missed tap. We we missed um, assignments and busted on some coverages, and that that's, that don't that don't so that ain't Texas defense. So we we straighten that up, and it's it's definitely straight for this game. We've been on we've been on grinding hard every day. All right.